should be looking at the road. However, <laughs> hi Frank and everybody. Sort of remembers my uh, best all time best job at ITS, the uh, Frank's Travel Time Variability Survey in the 1980s. Like, have a look at the road. But as you can see, there's not much traffic. But what you can see in the head are mountains. And Frank always reminds me of mountains whenever I think of Frank. Frank Munro, the man who's conquered all the mountains. Anyway, before Frank can conquer anything, he's got to get up in the morning. He's the only man I know who uh, has, uh, I don't know whether he's still got six, he's probably got eight alarm clocks in order for him to get up at, say, uh, seven o'clock. Because it takes him two, 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 years, two, two hours to eat uh, a bowl of cornflakes. Because he's planning his days, Frank, he's always planning his day. Then he cycles into work, of course, he can do that quite quickly. And when he gets to work, what's he thinking about? Well, when I knew him, it was uh, the next edition of ITS News. A bit different to the ITS News you have today. But when we did it, it was, I think Mr. Wardman, Professor Wardman was, uh, came into it as well. A little bit scurrilous was the ITS News back then. Well, there was a serious side to Frank, of course. He wasn't, I'd say, an excellent man at statistics. He used to do uh, sample analysis of cement. But when he came to the actual use of the cement when he was at home, I think I went round to help him do his drive. He was the only man who made sort of 40 different mixes to do 10 yards of concrete. I tried to explain to him that probably one big load was the way to do it. Anyway, at night, well, I could have to say that Frank's planning came into to, uh, organising the events at night when I was at Leeds. And uh, probably the best episode we ever planned ahead was the, the grotty pub crawl, where Frank used his skills to work a minimum path algorithm out to go to all the pubs that he thought were the worst ones in, in Leeds. John Preston was part of that as well. Anyway, the easy winner was, guess what, the Scotsman. Should have called it the Fly Scotsman, because we got into there, the guy, who, one guy was coming out horizontally <laughs> through the door. Anyway, I'm sure it won't get to that tonight. So, Frank and everybody, have a good time, and I'm sure everybody's going to miss Frank for at least half an hour before he's back on Monday helping out with things. So I don't think he's ever going to leave Leeds. Thanks, bye.